In this video, I'm sharing five ETFs that have proven track records of making their shareholders very rich. The right ETFs tend to be great investments because they offer diversification, low cost, great returns, and probably best of all, they don't require you to do any work. Let's start off with a bang. The industry leader ETF is Charles Schwab's US Dividend Equity ETF, SCHD. Or as I like to pronounce it, SCID. SCID has a long history of returning solid returns to its investors, consistently outperforming the overall market. It's returned 153% in capital gains in the last 10 years alone, while also having a strong starting dividend yield of 3.4%. SCID tracks the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index, which is high yielding dividend stocks in the US with a proven track record of consistently paying dividends. They are also filtered for their fundamental strength compared to their competitors and their overall financial health. Carl Schwab, the company that is, does all the management for us for a super low expense ratio of just six basis points. SCHD holds fantastic blue chip dividend companies like Broadcom, Verizon, Texas Instruments, Merck, BlackRock, IBM, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and so many more. And we get paid dividends while we're waiting. History tends to repeat itself and Skid has already made many millionaires. Skid now has $46 billion in assets under management and is one of the most popular ETFs out there, as investors definitely have their trust in this fund. Now one industry that will continue to boom for decades to come is semiconductors. Semiconductors are found in all the electronics around us. They are what allows electricity to flow through. As human demand for technology and electronic devices continues to grow, so will the demand for semiconductors. Technology like cars, smartphones, laptops, medical equipment, data centers, 5G networks, and so many more depend on semiconductors. This is an industry that can definitely grow my money and I'm gonna be shaking my head the whole time. That's because Vanex Semiconductor ETF, SMH, interesting name, is tracking the, the MVIS US listed Semiconductor 25 Index, which means it's tracking companies involved in semiconductor production as well as the equipment involved in making those chips. The fund only holds 25 companies, but it sure does make them count. It owns industry leaders in Intel, ADM, Qualcomm, Broadcom, ASML, NVIDIA, which is one of the largest holdings in my personal portfolio. Their largest position is Taiwan Semiconductor. Have you ever noticed a lot of US politicians are visiting Taiwan and are saying they will do everything in their power to protect them in conflicts? Is that because the US is such a kind and altruistic country that deeply cares about other people? No, it's because the US knows that 65% of all semiconductors and 90% of advanced chips come straight out of Taiwan. They know the economic powerhouse the country is, and that's why it's no surprise the biggest position in this ETF is Taiwan Semiconductor. The fund has a really modest expense ratio of just 35 basis points and pays a 1% dividend, which is actually only paid out just once a year. Now you probably won't mind that dividend being so low, because since its inception in 2011, the ETF has destroyed the market with an 820% return compared to the market's 298%. That's a 22% return annually compared to the overall market's 13%. That's a really quick way to get rich. All right, maybe you don't believe me when I say the semiconductor industry will be on fire for years to come. But what about the healthcare industry? Healthcare is an evergreen investment. It's always gonna be profitable because everyday people are gonna be aging. There's always gonna be new medical technology being developed. There's always gonna be new pharmaceutical drugs being created that can help people live better and high quality lives and so many other services related to healthcare. Vanguard's VHT is a passively managed fund that owns companies involving everything related to healthcare. This includes providing medical or healthcare products, services, technology, or other equipment. VHT comprises of 420 different companies, so you know those returns will definitely get high. And they're very well diversified across the healthcare sectors. Their biggest individual companies include blue chips like United Health Group, Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, Pfizer, AbbVie. They're all out there producing billions of dollars of revenues each year and paying out dividends. 
Now, VHT has a 1.3% dividend yield, a super low expense ratio of just 10 basis points. So that's going to be more of your own money going to work for you. Since their inception in 2004, VHT has actually outpaced the market 537% versus the overall market's 402%, or 10.2% annually compared to the market's 8.9%. Grow that wealth. Another pure blue chip dividend ETF that consists of a bunch of fantastic companies that consistently make money and consistently give dividends out to shareholders is VYM. This is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. This ETF tracks the FTSE High Dividend Yield Index, which actively seeks companies that have above average dividend yields and forecast dividends in their ranking process. This is an ETF that has been around since 2006 and has a really low expense ratio of just six basis points. They hold 440 different holdings and have an average market cap of $140 billion. They're heavily diversified across the major sectors, including consumer staples, energy, financials, healthcare, industrials. These are all over 10%. And you're getting exposure to fantastic companies like Johnson & Johnson, ExxonMobil, Chase, Procter & Gamble, Home Depot. These are all blue chip companies. Now, it would take you a lot of time and a lot of money to buy these companies on your own. Luckily, for just $100, we can buy into a piece of all these companies. You become an owner of all these companies with a very small investment. And we're going to get paid a 3% yield while we wait. And last but certainly not least, I may have saved the best for last in Sheppy, the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF a fund that broke the record for the most inflows of any actively managed ETF in a given year ever in 2022. This is a fund that aims to give out monthly dividend income and have overall less volatility than the overall market, something it has done a great job at because it's actually beaten the market in the last year. The unique part about Jeppy is that it sells covered calls slightly out of the money on the S&P 500 index to generate those high dividends that it gives out. That dividend yield is super juicy at close to 11 to 12%. Now, I just recently made a video going into much more detail on Jeppy, so be sure to check that video out. I just gave five ETFs a person of any age can invest into, and over long periods of time, these funds should continue to grow with the overall economy and make us very rich. Wanna see my full six-figure stock portfolio and join a Discord with dividend investors? Check out my Patreon below. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. Help out a small-time YouTuber by hitting that like button and subscribing. Know that my videos are never financial advice, just for educational purposes only. And I am... I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.